In the name of the law, we bring you another of the thrilling stories in this exciting series, taken from actual police case files. begins in the town treasurer's office of High Springs, Florida. Town clerk's office, Miss Collins speaking. Oh, yes, Mr. Britton. Well, that tax payment is due by the fifth of the month. Not at all. Goodbye. Is this the chief of police's office, ma'am? No, it's down the hall on your right. That's Mr. Burton's office, ain't it? Yes, Officer Burton, chief of police. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Bonnie, what's troubling you? Oh, it's this job. What do you expect being town clerk and treasurer all in one? I'm getting a job as waitress. That'll satisfy me. Now what are you doing? Oh, I've got to fire up the stove before I go out to lunch. <laughs> Cheer up. Maybe you'll get an appropriation for an oil burner. Yes, maybe. This town is still too poor to afford such luxury. I'll just have to use this enormous wrench and break my own coal and back, I guess. There. Come on, how about us having lunch together? I'm sorry, Helen, but I promised Mother I'd go home and have lunch with her. Well, come on and walk the corner with me, then. No, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I've got to make a phone call. It's very important. Well, I'll see you tonight. So long. So long. Cherry, 243, please. Yes, 243. What was that? There's no answer. O- operator, there must be an answer. It's very important. Doesn't answer. Oh, my heavens. Can I do? Hello, operator. Will you try main 388, please? Hello. Hello, is this main 388? Is Mr. Hunter there? Oh. When do you expect him? In half an hour? No. No message. That will be too late. Oh. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, don't, don't. Ah! What's going on in here? Drop that cash box. Drop that cash box. I tell you, you're on fire. Bonnie. Bonnie. Look at me. Oh, but I, I got him, Bonnie. I got him for you. Help! Help! Help, quick! Yeah, what's the matter, Artie? Who's got you the gun? I, I just shot a strange colored man. He was murdering Bonnie Collins. What, oh, Bonnie? Uh, yes, Bonnie. Is she dead? I'm afraid so, but maybe she isn't. Come on, will you help me? Get a doctor. Come on. <laughs> Now, suppose you tell us again exactly what happened. Well, all right, coroner. Now, wait just see a minute. Uh, men, we've marked the spot where the victim fell, right over here by her desk. And uh, here's the body of Lee Walker, just as he fell by the counter here. Now, Artie, you, uh, you were on duty in your office next door when this happened? Yeah, that's right. I heard kind of a commotion in here, and I jumped right up and ran down the hall. When I opened the door there... Yeah, go on, Artie. Well, when I opened the door, I saw a man. His back was to me. Uh, but I saw he was beating Bonnie Collins over the head with that wrench there. Now, man, you see this wrench? It's a heavy wrench used here in the office to break up lumps of coal for the stove. Uh, go on, Artie. Well, I saw this man hitting Bonnie over the head with that wrench. And I saw a cash box open there. It looked to me like Bonnie had been putting up a fight to keep him from that money. All right, uh, then what happened, Artie? Bonnie fell, and this man reached for the cash box. I yelled to him to drop it. And he ran for the window there, and I shot him. Twice in the back. Uh, go on, Artie. I knelt down by Bonnie for a minute. I saw she was hurt pretty bad. Then I ran out. I got Landy Chew and Abe Deloach. And they came back with me and helped me to get a hold of Dr. Goof. Uh, victim taken to make sure hospital. All right, Artie. Now, uh, when did you first know it was Lee Walker you'd shot? Well, after we first looked after Bonnie, why, we turned this fellow over so we saw his face. Uh, surprised to find it's Lee Walker, huh? I sure was. One of the best-natured fellows you ever want to meet. Why, he'd want to murder a town clerk and treasure for a few dollars. Yeah, never I mind, can't... Artie. I know how you feel. You saw a hold-up murder going on. The man, chief of police, you did your duty. Uh, well, I guess that's the way to figure it out, yes. Well, man, as coroner's jury, are you prepared to render a verdict? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Mr. Chu, what's your verdict? That Bonnie Collins met death at the hands of Lee Walker in the commission of a robbery. Yes, verdict of death at the hands of Lee Walker... During the commission of a robbery. 
Uh, Coroner, the boys have been talking it over, and we'd like it to go into the records that the coroner's jury congratulates Chief of Police Artie Burton for his prompt action in killing the man who murdered Bonnie Collins. <laughs> like you to know, Chief Burton, that the citizens of High Springs consider your prompt action most praiseworthy. Oh, shucks, Mr. Judson. I only did my duty, that's Judson, all. Judson, another batch of telegrams for Artie. Well, uh, don't open them now. Oh, quite the contrary. We are going to open them now. Uh, here, Abe, you help me. Come all on, right. boys. Yeah, help us open right. these I'll telegrams. Let's see. Congratulations to you and your community. Another hero has been added to police role of honor. Uh, Florida should be proud of Chief of Police Arthur Burton. Would you consider position, training candidates? Uh, previous for... justice I've ever known. Congratulations. Uh, what do you think Fine. of that? What do you think of that, Artie? Oh, uh, shucks. I told you I was only doing my duty. That's oh, all. You're too modest, Artie. Now, what do you think about it, Mrs. Burton? Well, I'm mighty sorry about Bonnie Collins, but I'm glad Arthur was there to see that she got quick justice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's something, Mrs. Burton. You know, Mrs. Burton, I wouldn't be surprised if they made your husband mayor before long. Oh, go on, Landy. What are you I'm not about? one for politics, but I can tell you you would get a good, honest man for mayor and my husband. That's, That's the stuff, Mrs. Burton. Right. Well, boys, I guess we ought to be going and let Artie and his missus see something in their own home. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. 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 <laughs> Did you hear what they said, Ma? Mayor. <laughs> Sure, why not? I got no more call to be mayor this time. Oh, that's the door. Me. More telegrams, I suppose. Well, now you sit right down, Ma, and I'll answer it. Good evening. Chief of Police Burton. Uh, that's me. Won't you come in? Thanks. Chief, I'm John Logan of the State Auditors Bureau. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Logan. Uh, sit down. Thank you. Uh, excuse us, William Moore. This is a uh, little business. All right, Artie. I'll just straighten up the kitchen. Uh, what can I do for you while you're here, Mr. Logan? Well, I've just been down to town hall. Glad you locked up Bonnie Collins' office after the murder. Yes, I thought it might be best since she was city treasurer and all that. Uh, would you like to have the key? Yes, as a matter of fact, that's why I came here tonight. Sorry to bother you. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Here. Here's the key. Thanks. Oh, and congratulations on solving a murder case so quickly. Oh, I don't deserve any credit. Uh, just happened to be there. Uh, you didn't recognize this murderer, this Lee Walker, at first, did you? No, I just saw a man beating Bonnie Collins to death, and I let him have it. Uh -huh. hmm, lucky you were there. Shot him twice in the back, I understand. That's right. It was the only place I could get a crack at him. I see. Well, Mr. Burton, I'll be getting along. I'll probably see you at town hall tomorrow. Oh, sure. If you're anything I can do to help, why, just sound off. I will. Ordering books after a murder isn't such a nice job. But anyhow, we'll balance the accounts, all right. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. I... That's all right. Come on in. My name's Logan. I'm from the state auditor's office. Just going over Miss Collins' books. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be getting on. Uh, wait, wait. Just a minute. Yes, sir. You work around here? Yes, I'm the janitor. I see. What's your name? Tom Smith. Tom, you know, we auditors sometimes have to ask a lot of questions. Sure. Uh, not about the murder. Oh, no, no, no. It's just a little money matter. You see, there was $112.33 in Miss Collins' cash box. Uh-huh. Now, this colored fellow, uh, Lee Walker, who was killed while robbing and beating Miss Collins, was he around town hall here a good bit? Sure. Lee was kind of a town character. Sold them voodoo charms, conjure books, and dream tickets. On the numbers? Sure. He's pretty lucky, too. Oh, uh, did Miss Collins play the numbers? I don't know. Well, did you buy any of those conjure books or voodoo charms? I don't know. Tom, did you help carry the bodies out of the office here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Both of them. Helped to get Miss Collins in the ambulance and helped carry out Lee Walker after the coroner's jury gave verdict he murdered Bonnie. Which way was Walker's body lying? Uh, lying almost flush with this side of the counter. Which way were his feet? Right near that doorway. And Bonnie Collins' body was lying around the corner of the counter by this desk. Is that right? Sure is. Now tell me, you the Tom Smith who's down here on the payroll for $12 a week? That's me. Do you know this Lee Walker very well? Sure. Known him for years. Say, Mr. Logan, do you think that you could get me a raise? Well, I'll try to get something for you, Tom. I won't promise you what it'll be, but it'll be something. Well, you here already, Logan? Oh, sure. Been here since seven this morning. 
You know what these audits are. Well, all official jobs are like that, I guess. Mm, it's later than I thought. How about some lunch? Sure, I know a good place. It's about two blocks from here. Fine, that's fine. Uh, how's the examination come along, Logan? Oh, looks like there might be a little shortage, not much. But otherwise, everything seems in order. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Bonnie was a fine girl. Regular, honest. Yes, I know, but I haven't been hearing such nice things about Lee Walker. I understand he was a gambler. Sold chances on a number lottery and all that kind of thing. Yes, that's right. But I always figured he was a harmless sort of guy. Never thought he'd try to steal. Uh, I'm just wondering if this Collins girl was mixed up in any of these lotteries. Bonnie? I'd stake my head on it. Why, she was absolutely above suspicion, I think. <laughs> Afraid to be positive now, aren't you? Well, come on, let's eat. I'm starved. Anything else, Mr. Burton? No, nope. <laughs> thanks. I've had enough. How about you, Logan? Want some dessert? No, thanks. I've had enough. That'll be... You want one check, Mr. Burton? Sure. My treat today. Oh, no, no. Nothing doing, Burton. I want that check. Here, give yeah, it to no me. No, sir. No, sir. -y. This is on me today. Here's the money, girlie. And uh, bring me the change in quarters, will Yes, you? sir. I know. Oh, I'd like to have two quarters in my pocket. Here you are, Mr. Burton. Here's the change. Oh, thanks. Well, now, you just watch how I make these quarters work for me. Hey, what's he going to do? Play the slot machines, I guess. He does that every day. But Mr. Burton isn't as lucky as Mr. Hunter. Mr. Burton never wins. Well, he doesn't expect to, does he? Well, the odds are a million to one against him. I guess they are. Oh, well, who is Mr. Hunter? Him? Oh, he owns most of the slot machines in town. He's a gambler. Oh, God. Do you know Mr. Burton well? Oh, sure. It gives me the shivers when I think that I spoke to Bonnie only five minutes before it happened. Oh, you did? Yes. And I think Bonnie had a feeling something had happened to her. Well, why do you say that? Well, I tried to get her to go to lunch with me, and she wouldn't go. First she said she had an appointment for lunch with her mother, and then she said something about an important telephone call. Hey, hey uh, finish, Logan? Yes, yes, just waiting for you. Well, come on, let's go. I have plenty to do yet this afternoon. Oh, well, how'd you make out? Oh, no luck as usual. These slot machines don't believe in giving you a break. Well, I guess you're right about that. because I've got to examine the books that Miss Collins kept. Well, I've got nothing to do with this office. Yes, I know, but I just heard about something that does connect you with her death. Connect me with her death? Yes. I understand that Miss Collins tried to phone you a few minutes before she was killed. According to the records of the telephone company, she called Cherry 243. That's your number, isn't it? Yes, yes, what if it is? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. There was no answer at that number, and Miss Collins then called Maine 388. That's my office. Yes, I know that. Now, Mr. Hunter, do you know why Miss Collins was so anxious to reach you? No, I don't. Where were you at that time? I don't know, besides what business is of yours where I was. Mr. Hunter, what is your business? I'm a merchant. Did you know Lee Walker? Sure, everybody knew him. He worked for you, didn't he? Well, yes, in a way. And it's... Oh, hello, Burton. Hello, Hardy. I'm glad you came. Now, who is this guy, anyway? What does he want? Well, he's ordered in the books. Of the is that so? Time. Well, what in the places did he make me come down here? And what business is it of his, what I do, or where I was when Bonnie was killed? I told you, Mr. Hunter, I've got to make a full report. Of course, if you don't want to cooperate with me, I can't force you to. Sure, Logan's right. You don't have to tell him anything you don't want. To. Then I'm leaving. I don't like this whole business one bit. Oh, looks like our friend is annoyed with me, doesn't it? Sure does. He's a pretty powerful man in this town. Is that so? What does he do? Well, he's a gambler. Runs the number game in town. Owns slot machines, and he has uh, the right connections. I see. Lee Walker worked for him, didn't he? Yes, he did. Sold lottery tickets for him. Oh, uh, Bert, you can do me a favor. I'm going to be through with my examination tonight, and I'd like to present it to the town council for certification before I leave. Will you notify them? Sure. What time do you want them? Oh, 8 o'clock, I guess. Oh, they'll be there. If you want me, I'll be in my office across the hall. Uh, thanks, Burton. Hello, operator. Uh, get me long distance. Uh, hello, hello, long distance. I want the governor's office. Yes, that's right. In a hurry, please. Well, hello. Uh, I'd like to speak with the governor. This is Gask. 
Yeah, yes, that's right. Well, hello, hello, Governor. Uh, yes, this is Gask. What's up there? That? That? Oh, I have to take a report. Tonight's the night. Yes, tonight. Positive. Practically the whole town will be here tonight, and I'm going to break the news to them. Yeah, bombshell is right. Now, Governor, if you want me this afternoon, I'm going under the name of Logan. Yes, that's it. John Logan. What? Well, vicious. Yeah, but don't worry. It'll be... Oh, I'm sorry. I can't speak to you anymore now. Goodbye. <laughs> People, now will you please give me your attention? Yeah, we will. I've called all you people here tonight for a very unusual reason. I was sent here by the governor of this state to investigate Lee Collins and Lee Walker. Now, please, please. In the first place, I want to introduce myself. My name is Gask, Buddy Gask, and I have no connection whatsoever with the state auditors bureau. Now, for obvious reasons, I use the name of Logan, and for obvious reasons, I conceal the identity of my position. I am a special state investigator. I shall ask some of you certain questions tonight. I expect truthful answers. If any of you do not cooperate with me, I have the authority to place you under arrest. Now, uh, Miss Clark, please. Miss Clark, you told me that you spoke to Miss Collins just a few minutes before she was murdered. Yes, sir, that's right. She told you something about making an important phone call. Yes, sir. I wanted her to take lunch with me, but she said she had to telephone somebody. She didn't say who it was, though. Thank you. Now, gentlemen, I checked the phone calls made from this office, and I learned that Miss Collins called two numbers. One was the number of Mr. Hunter's home, and the other, Hunter's office. Mr. Hunter. Well, what do you want to know? Where were you at the time Miss Collins phoned you? I don't remember. You earn your money gambling, don't you? I earn it honestly, if that's what you want to know. Lee Walker worked for you, is that right? Yeah. Did you send him here to see Miss Collins the day she was killed? I don't remember. Uh-huh. Well, how well did you know Miss Collins, Mr. Hunter? Just a friend. Did she ever gamble, to your knowledge? No, sir, never. Bonnie, uh, Miss Collins is a fine girl. All right. Oh, uh, Dr. Turner. Yes, sir. Dr. Turner, you're coroner of this county, is that right? Yes, sir, that's right. Been coroner for 28 years. And you examined the victims? Yep, that's right. Uh, this is your report, isn't it? That's right, yes, sir. According to this, your findings indicated that Miss Collins was killed by that wrench over there. Is that right? That's what it says. And Walker was shot twice. That's the cause of his death, correct? Yep, that's right. All right, that'll do. And now, uh, uh, Mr. Burton, please. Mr. Burton, you shot Walker when you saw him hitting Miss Collins. Yeah, he was running toward that window when I came in. I shot him. You didn't want him to escape, is that it? Yeah, that's right. And then you called Mr. Chu and Mr. DeLoach? Yeah, that's right. They helped me get the doctor. Did you see anybody in the corridor when they ran out? No, sir. Nobody. You sure? Did you see Miss Clark or Mr. Hunter anywhere? Well, I'm not sure, but I, I don't think so. I, I guess I'd recognize them if they were there. You knew Walker, didn't you? Oh, sure. He hung around there all. But when you shot him, you didn't know it was he, did you? He was running away from me when I came in, and his back toward me, and I just plugged him. All right, Burton, thank you. Uh, Mr. Chu. Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Chu, you were outside the building when Miss Collins was killed, were you not? Yes, sir, I was talking to Abe DeLoach. And when you heard the shots, you ran in to see what happened? Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Chu, did you see if... Oh, uh, just a moment. Oh, Burton, will you please open that window? It's very hot in here. Uh, Mr. Chu, did you see anybody in the corridor or outside when you heard the shots? No, don't believe I did. Uh, you knew Mr... What's the matter, Burton? Can't you open it? No, it's nailed fast. Well, all right, we'll be through soon. Uh, now, Mr. Chu, you knew Mr. Hunter, didn't you? Uh, yes, sir, I knew him all right, but I, I didn't see him around here. Well, tell me this. After the shots were fired, you ran in here with Mr. Burton, is that right? Yes, sir. And he told you that he had shot someone. Yes. Is that right? Yes, he said he'd shot a strange man. And then you turned him over and saw that the man was Lee Walker. That's right, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chu. Thank you very much. Mr. Gasp, state investigator or not, you have no right to embarrass these citizens. Besides, we have our own chief of police here who caught Walker red-handed and killed him. Our investigation disclosed that Walker had robbed and murdered Bonnie Collins. Why, if it weren't for Chief Burton, Walker might have got away. Now, Dr. Turner, I'll get to the point immediately. Bonnie Collins was not murdered by Lee Walker. But the person who did kill her is here in this room right now. Arthur Burton, 
You're under arrest for the murder of Lee Walker and Bonnie Collins. What, are you crazy? I yes, you must be mad, Gas. Chief Burton's one of the most respected men in town. This is a real brief. Quiet, quiet. Be quiet, all of you. I know what I'm doing, and before I'm through with you, every single one of you will be convinced. Burton is guilty of murder, understand? And I'm going to prove it. The governor's going to hear of this, Gas. You can't come into our town. Shut up, every one of you. I'm doing the talking now. O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Tommy. Yeah. Draw your gun and stand at that door. If anyone tries to pass you, shoot. Now, all of you, listen. Every person I've spoken to has insisted that Miss Collins was absolutely honest. Audits of her accounts in the past have also indicated that very thing. After checking her book since her death, however, I find that her accounts were approximately $150 short. Walk around her, you fool! I'm doing the talking, Burton. Walk around her? What happened to the money? You told us that you shot him just as he was putting his hand into the cash box. Is that right? Well, why don't you answer me, Burton? You also said that you shot Walker because he tried to run away through that window. Gentlemen, my investigation yesterday disclosed that that window cannot be opened. You recall, I asked Burton to open it a little while ago. You all heard what he said. It's nailed fast. Walker was as familiar with this office as any of you are. All of you know that. If he knew that that window couldn't be opened, why should he have tried to escape that way? If that's your proof, Gask, you ought to be struck. Now, wait till I'm finished, Dr. Turner. Let's, let me finish. Walker never tried to run through that window. Now, the next step that really happened. Simply this. Walker faced this door and Burton shot him. How do I know? Because Lee Walker was not shot in the back. That's how I know. Burton faced him and shot him down in cold blood. That's why Burton was careful to say that he'd shot a strange man. Strange man. Get it? That's how he put you off the track. And now why, you ask, did Burton want Walker killed? I'll tell you. Your police chief is a gambler. I myself saw him lose several dollars in the slot machine this afternoon. I can prove that your honorable chief of police loses as much every day. You know the salary he receives. Figure it out yourself. See if he can afford any losses on the modest salary you pay him. And now for the next point. What happened to the money that was stolen from Bonnie Collins' cash box? I'll tell you. Burton stole that money. Because he wasn't able to put it back... He planned what he thought was a perfect crime. That's a lie, a dirty lie. I never saw it. Man, two hundred. In a hurry, operator. Hello, hello, Beckard. Give me the desk. Hello, Joe. This is Graham. Yeah, on a Burton case. That's what that buddy Gast said. And listen to this. Gast dug up a surprise witness. The guy testified that Burton offered to get him Bonnie Collins' job for 50 bucks. Said it was going to be vacant. Yeah, he shouldn't have offered that job a month before he killed her. It showed premeditation the DA said. And here's something else that's hot. The governor sent Gas down, that's his crack investigator, because Bonnie Collins' mother wrote him and said her daughter's death was suspicious. Yeah. And another thing. Hunter admitted that he knew Burton was a big gambler. Seems that Bonnie was friendly with Hunter and told him that the big shot police chief was swiping dough. Yeah, nice guy. And that isn't all either. Gas found a witness that saw Burton motion to Walker to come into Bonnie Collins' office. He cracked Bonnie in the head of the wrench and then shot Walker to make it look like a perfect crime. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> perfect for Gas and a DA. And after the jury brought in the verdict of guilty, you should have heard that judge go to town when he sentenced him. Yeah, life. Well, sure, I know it's too good for him, but what do you want me to do? And am I going to make that guy mayor? How do you like that? <laughs> again when truth and justice triumph in the name of the law. <laughs>